Vivek Ramaswamy will hold a town hall in Springfield, Ohio tonight to hear from the residents impacted by the surge of illegal immigrants there, as President Trump also teases a visit to the small town in the next few weeks. Our next guest has been a Springfield resident for more than 30 years, and she can secure a t she cannot secure a ticket for tonight's sold-out event, but still has her concerns. Diana Daniels joins us again. Hey, Diana. Good morning. Good morning to you. So what do you, he's going there to hear from the residents. What will the residents tell him tonight? I'm hopeful that the residents will tell him to, and put to rest the, uh, the rumor or the word going around that the residents of Springfield are upset with the, with the, the Haitians being here along uh, a color line. And I hope he puts to rest the fact that um, what we're dealing with is a socioeconomic and a sociocultural uh, disparity between the two groups. Um, and I think that's really essential, uh, despite the fact that we have 20,000 uh, Haitians and approximately 8,000 uh, Hispanics that have come in since 2014. This is an unprecedented number, and of course, it's going to cause difficulty. The truth truth of the matter is, is the residents of Springfield have been uh, sounding the alarm uh, for several years, and I myself have been at City Commission for the past year, every single Tuesday night, sounding the alarm that your house is on fire and you better do something about it. And so we've come to this position. Uh, the City Commission has never allowed us to actually have a seat at the table to have a meaningful conversation regarding the socioeconomic and social cultural differences we are always painted with the brush that we are, um, to say the least, racist, and that could not be further from the truth. Uh, Springfield has always been noted for having its close-knit communities um, based along, and, and, and my experience as a teacher has been, uh, it's not so much the color, it's the fact that everybody's poor. And so when you have uh, a disparate number of Looks like we just lost her. We interviewed her last week. Steve had an excellent interview with her, and she said that town is everyone's living paycheck to paycheck. And she said the issue is the migrants are taking their jobs and um, and hurting with social services as well. If you want to go to the doctor's office, you want to go to the hospital, um, it's harder to get in. And I think Diana, you, you're back with us. We lost you for a little yeah. bit. Um, thank yeah. you for joining us about this. You you also told our producers that in order to get into Vivek's event tonight, you can't get a ticket. Why is that? Well, what we've come to find out is as soon as Vivek announced that he was coming to town and the tickets went on sale, that a block of um, alt-left uh, started buying up all the tickets in mass in order for, to prevent uh, citizens or anyone else interested in coming to the town hall from participating. Now, we expected this to happen in some way, shape, or form because of the rhetoric that's been circulating around and um, what we're hearing online from other communities um, that don't necessarily have uh, any business being in our business. Uh, so we expected that something like this was going to happen of some form. And of course, we had a protest last night as well. Um, I suspect that we're going to have some, some protesters out tonight. Um, I'm not going to go inside, even if I was offered a ticket, because I feel that my place is outside uh, interacting with the residents that I have been for the last year, and particularly for the last month because of um, in the last month, we've had three residents express that they've been forced out of their homes and we're dealing with finding a place for them so that they don't become homeless. And that's one of the issues, of course, is um, um, we haven't had it, the lack of housing for residents and they're being forced out. So mm -hmm. um, I anticipate there to be a little bit of shenanigans going on, so to speak. It's going to get a little spicy, I, I think. So I'm going to be outside. I know what Rebecca, Rebecca is going to say. I'm hopefully hoping that he brings down the temperature and how it gives us an opportunity to voice our concerns and um, and bring us together. Yeah, you said that Vivek's a smart man. He can hand, he can handle it. You have a tiny town. Fifty eight thousand people live there and 15 to 20 thousand migrants have moved in recently. Diana, I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's very tiring, but uh, uh, Springfield's a strong town. We're a resilient people. We 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 do. We are not a hateful people. This yeah. is not about um, about the Haitians. It's it's about how it happened, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, as you well know. We do know. You're a good American. Thank you so much, Diana, for coming on. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.